Good morning. This is your 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. Sunny conditions out there this morning, starting off on the cold side. But we will have a quiet weather day ahead, but we will see a chilly day as well before we start to see some unsettled weather moving into the area for our Saturday. If we take a look at the current surface analysis, that area of high pressure has built in over the region. That's going to keep things quiet as we go through the day today. This uh, disturbance off the Texas Gulf Coast is going to that's what's going to come together as that area of low pressure we've been watching all week. And that's going to track up the southeast and bring those unsettled conditions as we get into tomorrow. But if we look at current conditions this morning, seeing clear skies, winds light out of the northwest at four knots, temperature at 28 degrees, and our relative humidity is at 69%. Looking at the current visible satellite, you can see those clear skies over the area. Uh, high clouds off to the west at this time. We'll see some of those high clouds start to move into the area as we get into the afternoon. So uh, plenty of sun around today. We'll see chilly temperatures. If we look at the uh, short-term high-resolution model today, again, expecting dry conditions to continue as we go through the day. Uh, light winds, quiet weather. Going into the evening time frame, we'll gradually see those high clouds increasing, and we'll see mostly cloudy to overcast conditions moving in through the overnight time frame. And then as we get into our day on Saturday, that area of low pressure starts to bring its impacts into the local region. Uh, we'll stay dry to start the day, and then we'll see a chance of light rain moving in by the later part of the morning. And then as we get into the afternoon, rain becomes likely with that more moderate to heavier rain moving through. Uh, we'll have a very slight chance of maybe even seeing a thunderstorm in the area with some of those heavier rain showers moving through, uh, but overall we'll see uh, breezy conditions as well. We'll see those winds turning to be more out of the south-southeast and a stout southeast breeze going through the day tomorrow. It's going to elevate the tides a little bit, but nothing uh, too significant expected at this time. And as you can see, all the frozen precip staying well off to the north and northwest. Going through the night, Saturday night into Sunday morning. We'll see some lingering showers early on. And then as that area of low pressure tracks away from the area, we'll see those showers start to uh, taper off as we go through the overnight time frame. But we'll keep a breeze around as this system starts to exit the region. And then going into Sunday, we'll remain mainly cloudy through the day on Sunday. We'll keep a breeze around with those cooler, more seasonable temperatures moving in. And we should start to see a break in some of the clouds as we get uh, late in the day on our Sunday. So if we look at the 24-hour weather risk chart for today, expecting green conditions over the next 24 hours, we'll see mostly sunny conditions as we go through the day today. Just a few high clouds moving in for the afternoon and into the first part of the evening. Winds will be relatively light. We'll see those north-northwesterly winds, 5 to 10 knots this morning, and then uh, those winds will slowly become lighter and more westerly to southwesterly as we go into the evening time frame. A chilly day ahead with our high temperature uh, peaking around 42 degrees, so a couple degrees below average for this time of year. And as we go into the overnight, again, there's increasing high clouds. We'll see those winds shifting more southwesterly, but still remaining light. But the combination of that will uh, keep temperatures from falling too far down to around 34 hour low this evening. And that's right on par with about the average low this time of year. And then as we get into the start of the day on Saturday, we'll become uh, overcast conditions with some more mid-level clouds starting to build into the area. Those ones will be shifting more onshore out of the southeast, 6 to 11 knots, and we'll see those temperatures uh, respond by warming a few degrees as we start the day on Saturday. Right now, tides are running a foot above normal. Expect it to stay above normal as we go. Uh, through our Saturday and into Sunday uh, with this onshore breeze moving in for tomorrow. If you look at the weekend forecast, overcast for our Saturday, and again, that chance of light rain by the later part of the morning, and then that rain uh, likely as we get into the afternoon. Moderate to heavier rain moving through the area, so good uh, soaker with this event pushing through that very slight chance of an embedded thunderstorm. Uh, mainly during that same period with those heavier rain showers moving through. And then we'll see breezy conditions through today. And uh, our high will be climbing, or excuse me, our temperatures will be climbing through today. We'll see our high likely late in the day and into the evening around 52 degrees. So we do have that red risk for precip. Not enough uh, chance of lightning to 
color in our lightning threat here, but uh, still a chance, very slight chance there. But staying green for lightning, we'll see red risk for those winds at or above 25 knots. Again, breezy through today. Likely won't see a wind advisory all day, but could see that wind advisory issued as those peak winds uh, move through. And then we have that orange risk for those reduced ceilings and visibilities with that shower activity moving in. Going into Saturday evening, that rain continues early on, and then we'll see that rain start to taper off as we go through the overnight. So we keep that orange risk for precip, and we keep an orange risk for those reduced ceilings and visibilities as we'll remain cloudy after the rain ends, but we'll keep some low clouds around likely uh, through Sunday morning. And then we do keep a yellow risk for those winds above 25 knots. We'll remain slightly breezy through the uh, Saturday night time frame, likely staying just below uh, the wind advisory criteria, but can't rule out a chance of seeing those uh, exceed that 25 knot range. But uh, a low around 38 expected. And as we go into Sunday, we'll see mostly cloudy conditions through much, if not all of the day. And then we'll start to see some of these clouds breaking late. But we'll see the winds pick back up as we go through the day on the back end of that system. Uh, with, so we'll see breezy conditions, and we pick up that orange risk of those winds above 25 knots. Otherwise, a seasonable high around 46 degrees. That's going to wrap up the 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. We'll be back again at 10 a.m. Take a look at the extended forecast. Enjoy your morning.